Hi Cubies, here's Alexandra, coming to you with a very special painting tutorial. This time I will paint my nails. <laughs> well, some of you have uh, said that um, several times my nails are bad. Well, that uh, happens uh, when you make housework with them. Well, and from time to time you have to renew them. And this time I want to paint them in a camouflage. <coughs> Sounds strange, but yes, I will do that now. So, those are the colors uh, that I'm using. Um, XV88, Rhinoxide, Gretchen Green, Citadel Foundation colors, and a Mode Green. Well, basically what you need is uh, one um, well, bright brown as a primer, then some dark brown, some olive green, and some bright green. And that will make a nice camouflage, the so-called uh, town flag from Germany. So at first uh, you have to have an undercoat on your nails. Um, what you can do if you don't have a color already on them, uh, use something like that uh, from Mabel and Express for example. Uh, this is just a coat that protects your nails. So <clears throat> as first color coat, like I said, uh, I will use the XV88 and I will paint directly over uh, the previous red here. <clears throat> so this red will work just fine as an undercoat for my nails. So just simply paint it on. Just like that. So uh, then the second one and so on and so on. I will not film the entire process of all my ten nails. And like usual I'll be back in a second. So everybody, uh, this is how it looks now. <clears throat> All nails nice and undercoated. <clears throat> now it's time for the Rhinox height. Uh, open the pot. Take some of the color on the palette, like usual. And then what we will do is uh, make some irregular shapes on the nails. Just something like that. I don't need to be perfect, just let your imagination flow how the shapes could be. hand. I know with left it is a little bit more difficult but uh, well over time every woman manages to do that. Give the brush a good wash and then we take the olive green. It doesn't have to be uh, Gretchen green. Take uh, the olive green that pleases you from whatever brand that pleases you. So and same again. We will make now some irregular shaped blobs but uh, you can this time uh, overlap with a darker brown also.
and again the other side. Make it as random as possible, and so you get a nice cameo pattern. And then, last but not least, <coughs> we come to the final color. Mood green. Be careful to not touch your nails while opening the pots. <coughs> so, and again, we make some <coughs> dots here and there with a nice bright green. This green is there to uh, let the color stand out a little bit more. <coughs> this time you see I'm just making some blobs, touching it only with a spread out tip of the brush. But overall <coughs> that gives some nice random spots. So, and ta-da! <coughs> You're now prepared for a field trip into the forest. <laughs> I hope you liked this little tutorial. And, uh, well, finally I'm going over with uh, some express manicure, some top coat, to protect the color. Just go nicely over it and give it a good shot with a varnish. So. So Tubies, this was my last tutorial for 2013 <laughs> and we see us in the next year. <clears throat> I hope you will all do well and for those of you that uh, haven't it done already, I have also a Facebook page and today I posted uh, something I found on the web. So, well. If you don't want to uh, wait until Saturday to look what's new, you should keep an eye out on my Facebook page. To find my Facebook page? Well, it's quite easy. Just search on Facebook Girl Painting and you will find it. And a little side note, uh, well, I'm on there, on Facebook also, with my private account. Um, <clears throat> if you want to follow me on Facebook, use my girl painting page. The other page is my private account, so please uh, don't uh, overflood this. Well, <clears throat> so much uh, for this tutorial. I hope you like this little tutorial, a little bit strange one, but I hope you liked it anyway. And we see us in the next video, in the next year. You're Alexandra. <laughs>